continuing coverage of the coronavirus pandemic. There are well over a thousand cases now of COVID-19 in the state of Alabama. It is in every southwest Alabama county we cover as Clark and Conecuh County reported their first cases today. As the numbers rise, so does frustration from first responders over where those COVID-19 patients live. News 5's Debbie Williams has been looking into this today and joins us now live. And Debbie, the health department is saying they're sending out addresses of those infected on a daily basis to the first responders. Yeah, that's what they're saying, and that may be true, but it's not happening here in Baldwin County, where we have 20 confirmed cases, and this 911 center only has a fraction of those addresses. Vital information comes with every call to a 911 operator, but in Baldwin County, some of the most important information concerning the virus is not being received. There are 20 cases that are reported in Baldwin County, and so far today, the uh, health department has provided us addresses uh, for seven of, of those uh, cases that we know of. Those addresses coming from the state health department not only are not making it to first responders, when it does get here, it can be days, even weeks old. We are going to do everything that we can to ask every question that might assist you in, in your response efforts, but, but know that we can't catch everything, and, and you are definitely putting yourself at risk if you're not properly protected. Because of the lack of information coming from Montgomery, Foley Fire is treating every call like it involves a coronavirus patient, something that is further stressing the supply of personal protection equipment. Baldwin County 911 Director Joby Smith says maybe all departments should do the same thing. We want to have enough information that we can provide some assurance to our responders that that they're not walking into something that they could have known about. Smith says they are working with the state to fix the problem. Uh, they know where we stand and what we need. They're just, I think, trying to figure out how they can get it to us. Until then, every first responder should assume everyone is infected for their own safety. Now, just before 5 o'clock, we heard from the Alabama Department of Public Safety, who says that their 911 policy has not changed in giving those addresses to those 911 centers. First responders here in Baldwin County say they should change that policy. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Robertsdale, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.